How's it going everybody? Green Skull here again. On my Halo Bulletin recap video, I asked you guys to tell me what your favorite Halo maps of all time were, and if you'd like to see them in Halo 4. I got so many responses that I just had to make a new video to talk about it. So let's start with what you guys wanted to see. The number one most requested map in all the comments was, drum roll please, Guardian from Halo 3. And you know what? I'm okay with that. Guardian was an amazing map and I'd love to see it return. Gravity lifts in the map were always led to some crazy scenarios. The multiple levels were a lot of fun. The scenery around Guardian was awesome. And games like King of the Hill and Oddball on Guardian unmatched in other maps. So much fun. Especially King of the Hill when you had the hill in the middle of the map and everybody's trying to run into it and there's grenades everywhere and you can only stay in it for like one or two seconds. It was crazy. An oddball and doubles were so strategic, having one guy like hiding down below with the ball, being ready to jump through the grav lift, and your other guy holding off all the enemies. I'd love to see it return and judging by how many people are asking for it, 343 is definitely listening, so we'll see. Next up in terms of popularity was the pit. Now the pit, the best thing about the pit is its layout. The pit's layout was pretty much perfect. Not just for Halo, but for first person shooters and even games in general. The map itself is just expertly created. On one side of the pit you have this relatively open sniper area, which you definitely want to stay away from if you're not ready to get sniped. On the other side you have a bunch of hallways with shotguns and a rocket launcher. So it's a perfect balance there. And then you have the sword room, which was always fun. It acted like a mouse trap. If you go in there and people know you're in there, it's not going to be easy to come out. They're going to be guarding those two exits. But if you go in there and you grab the sword and you just wait, They'll be sneaking around the corner, you rate for them, slash them right in the face. Always fun. The pit was pretty close to Guardian, but I'm pretty sure Guardian had one or two more votes. So, looks like you guys want both of these maps pretty bad. Moving on, we have Valhalla. Now Valhalla, I, it's a good map, but I wasn't really expecting it to have so many votes. I guess what I like about Valhalla the most is the fact that the middle of it is elevated. There's a hill in the middle, so you can't just snipe across the map and kill people in the enemy base. Definitely split up the action a lot, and that was pretty cool about it. But honestly, I can't see it returning because we have maps like Blood Gulch and Coagulation, and Valhalla are all relatively similar, so I'm thinking we'll see some kind of fusion between that map style, the open style of map. We're definitely going to see something like that. I don't see why we wouldn't. Some other popular ones were Sandbox and Sand Trap. Now, Sand Trap I get. Sand Trap was a lot of fun, especially on Infection. Infection on Sand Trap, driving Warthogs around the outside. I spent so much time doing that. And big team battles were always fun. Capture the flag with the elephants was hilarious, especially if you could hijack an elephant, drive it over to your side, and just hop the flags into your elephant. So you just got three flag captures really, really quick. Just capture, capture, capture. Made the other team super mad, and you guys felt like bosses. It was hard to pull off, but if you did it, it was always funny to do. But Sandbox, I don't really get. As far as I remember, people always complained about playing on Sandbox. So tell me, what's so great about Sandbox? I don't actually know. Leave it in the comments if you like Sandbox. Construct was mentioned by a few people, but not as many as I expected. Because when I think of Halo 3, Construct is one of the first maps that comes to my mind. And it's Forerunner. Perfect fit for Halo 4. Some of my most memorable games from Halo 3 happened on Construct. I remember a lot of those games. That was a great map. And hardcore players I know definitely like Construct. It was just a great map overall. The multi-tier level system and the uh, the gold lift at the back. My favorite thing to do on the map was just pick up the flamethrower and go around burning everybody just screaming BURN! Like, I wish I was kidding, but I, I did that probably every match. Burn! Usually freaked out on my party. Now, lockout slash blackout slash whatever out you want to refer to it as. That's a map I can see returning. It got quite a few votes. It's definitely one of the most iconic Halo maps of all time. Lockout, that is. Not blackout. Blackout, I don't know. It, it just didn't feel the same. Blackout did not feel the same as lockout. And I'm not sure why, since it was... Pretty much the exact same thing. It just didn't play the same in Halo 3. Halo 4 is looking to have a lot more classic feel to it in terms of your jump height and speed and things like that. So if we get Lockout, would it be awesome again? I think so. I want to see Lockout. Make it happen, 343. Zanzibar and Last Resort. Zanzibar was the version in Halo 2, and Last Resort was the version in Halo 3. Now there's another one of the most iconic Halo maps of all time. It was such an interesting map. You have the wheel in the middle, you have the beach, you have the base. There was so much to it, and that's what made it interesting. I don't think any other map in Halo history worked so well with every single game type. 
Capture the Flag, Assault, Slayer, uh, Territories. Every game type worked so well on that map. And it's just because it was so interesting and so many different aspects to it. If 343 is looking at the most popular maps of all time, I wouldn't put him by and throw Zanzibar in there. If I left out a map you guys voted for in my comments, I only wanted to cover the really important ones and the ones that had the most votes. So there, there really wasn't that many others that were voted for, which is surprising. There was a lot of, it was pretty consistent. So that's definitely saying something about the Halo community as a whole. You guys like to vote for the same thing and you, lots of you have the same ideas in mind. But if there's a map I didn't talk about that you, without a doubt, could not live without, you really, really, really want to see in Halo 4, leave it in the comments. I'm really curious as to what you guys have to say. So the usual here, like this video, comment, favorite it. Also, if you're not already, please subscribe. I gained 500 extra, 500 or more subscribers in the past few days which is phenomenal. Big thanks to Halo 4 fans on Facebook for helping me out with that. You can check them out in my description. And I might as well say this, if you guys really like this stuff and you like the opinions I have, be sure to follow me on Twitter and be a fan of me on Facebook. I have the links to those in my description also. And last but not least, join up at Ready Up Live. We're a gaming forum that we're big Halo fans, but we're, we're fans of everything else too. Right now we're all hooked on Mass Effect and we play Battlefield, so. Check out the forums, readyuplive.com. Amazing community. Do you think you've played games with people before? You haven't, because we, we have a lot of fun. You guys seem to like my outro last time. Here it is again. Thanks for watching. Boom!